May I first show you my new dog? <laughs> he's a puppy, he's six months old and his name is Joker. <laughs> And uh, when I was thinking how to name him, I was searching for some associations and he definitely reminds me of Batman. But to call him Batman <laughs> would be too boring and too logical, so I decided to call him Joker. And I have a couple of ideas, projects for my channel with Joker, so stay tuned. Do you want to sleep? <laughs> So in this video I'm gonna do something very 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 interesting. I'm gonna custom paint denim jacket in 80s aesthetic. Uh, you know going back to time is such a huge trend. Like in every fashion magazine you can see that. 70s are back, 90s are back, 2000s are back and in music like there are so many songs right now inspired by 80s, 90s, such retro vibes and even ABBA is back with a new album so it's definitely a big trend and I thought it could be interesting for me as well take some specific time elements, some aesthetic and turn it into a design for custom painted jacket. So it's gonna be very very interesting and I'm gonna show you my creative process. I'm Daria and welcome back to Art Fashion Channel. So to create design in some specific aesthetic, first of all I use Pinterest and Pinterest is number one app for clothes customizers because you can just tap there like this aesthetic or any other aesthetic you are searching for and you will get a lot of images, some album covers, some 80s inspired art for example, uh, some images, some photos, like so many inspiration and you can find some elements, some details of this aesthetic. You can understand like what can you use, what you can include in your design and yeah you can get the vibe. And this is what I did. I searched for 80s aesthetic on Pinterest, for 80s art on Pinterest and I found a lot of images and I understood what do I want to paint, what do I need to paint on my denim jacket. So scrolling through Pinterest feed I found two 80s aesthetics. The first one is video games inspired, such very futuristic, uh, cyberpunk space, neon colors. And the second one is sci-fi inspired, such surrealistic illustrations with more muted colors. So I want to mix these two aesthetics and create something in between. And let's start working, but first let me pet my cat, she's stressed out because of my new dog. Anyway, here is a denim jacket which I'm gonna customize, black denim jacket, and I'm customizing it uh, as a gift for a girl who loves purple color, who loves vintage. So I decided that such 80s inspired design will be just perfect for her. And first I'm gonna use bleach to create a pattern, such a disinspired retro waves pattern. I thought that it will definitely create such a vibe for the whole design. Uh, so I'm using bleach because with the bleach I am able to create a soft layer because there won't be paint. As you know, like painting on black fabric requires more paint than painting on uh, white fabric because black fabric absorbs color. So using bleach uh, to create for example some pattern is actually a great idea. So such a way you can like reduce the stiffness of your artwork. And also you can use bleach to create first layer uh, for your artwork, base layer. Normally I use white uh, color fabric paint to create a base layer on dark fabrics. But if you again want to reduce the stiffness of your artwork, if you want to use less paint, uh, you can use bleach to create first base layer. Um, and then it will be easier for you to apply other colors on top of light layer and your artwork will be very soft. But of course I don't like the color of the pattern, I need to change it <laughs> because my design requires some purple, some pink color uh, and I'm gonna use spray fabric paint to change the color of the pattern. Uh, spray fabric paint, uh, I'm gonna talk about them in one of my next videos. I'm gonna show you them, uh, show you different options. Uh, but uh, spray fabric paint which I'm using now is very very soft. It's just like a textile dye 
it doesn't make uh, the fabric stiff it's like very watery it's very soft so uh, using it i'm sure that i won't make my pattern stiff but as you can see it's a bit hard to apply such a uh, spray paint uh, i can't apply it directly on the pattern paint gets on the sides as well uh, but because of it's very watery this paint it doesn't have uh, good coverage it's not able to dye dark fabric and it won't be visible on dark fabric just on the parts which are bleached and now when my pattern is ready i can paint the design but first i'm gonna sketch it out using chalk and i'm starting with the word uh, love because I think that 80s were very romantic and I'm using uh, 80s inspired font yeah I'm gonna use a couple of fonts uh, 80s inspired fonts I found on Pinterest uh, but also I'm gonna use just simple handwriting you know to mix uh, the 80s inspired part and modern design <laughs> kind of of course planets, shining stars as a futuristic elements and eighties are all about futuristic designs. Heart inside of such futuristic space with the grid lines is an element of retro futurism, which I showed you at the beginning of the video. And using just such elements of retro futurism, you can create so cool customization as well. Also, I'm adding a couple of slogans to make design a bit more busy and you know to add such modern street style vibe to the design. And also slogan on the sleeve and sleeves are so underrated in clothes customization but sleeves are perfect for some slogans, for some images, for some details. So yeah, sleeves are very important. <laughs> so don't forget to use them in your customization. And now I'm gonna start to paint with colors. And as you can see, uh, I start to paint directly with colors. I don't apply white base layer for the word love, but because of it's not so necessary here, uh, my paints have very good coverage, so first layer yeah, will be a bit dirty, <laughs> dirty yellow, but with second layer I will be able to create very bright yellow. So yeah, but it's like no difference, you can first apply white base layer and then on top of it uh, bright light yellow. And while the first layer of love is getting dry, I'm moving to the next part. I'm gonna paint planets with the shimmer paint. Yes, brand Pebeo, which I'm using, has very beautiful shimmer paints. For the line work and lettering I have to use brush, a small brush. On the light fabric it would have been easier because I could have used uh, fabric markers but as it's a dark fabric and there are no such good coverage fabric markers I have to use small brush. And now the first layer of love is dry, I can apply second layer. And as you can see, second layer turned out very bright and light uh, because my paints have very good coverage. I'm using opaque colors for painting on dark clothes. And when your paints have very good coverage, you are able to create bright and light colors using only two layers of paint.
For the rings of the planets, I'm using Fabric Outliner, silver color, very beautiful, shiny outliner. And in one of my next videos, I'm gonna show you different outliners, how to use them. And outliners can be very useful, you know, to add an extra effect to your clothes. And it's so easy to use them and they look so interesting and so beautiful on clothes. It can be challenging to create clear and sharp letters on the denim. So here is a tip, if you work with dark denim, you can use black uh, fabric marker to outline letters and such way you will make them more clean and clear. But if it's just handwriting, there is no need to make letters clean and clear. It's actually an opposite. Uh, your letter shouldn't be clear because it's handwriting. In my design, I decided that each font will be different, like even handwriting will be different, like different color, different effects. Uh, for example, I used outliner to create font because I think the more uh, fonts, the better, the more interesting effects, the better. In such way, I'm able to create design which you want to explore. Like, it's a design in one aesthetic, but there are so many uh, different elements, details, colors, fonts, lettering, that you want to look at them and understand like what artists try to say, what is the meaning behind the design, what is the story behind the idea. And such way I think I am able to create very eye-catching design. To the front side I decided to add a couple of surrealistic elements. It's gonna be such melting butterflies because surrealism was also a big trend in 80s design. White base layer of word imagine got dry and now I can create a gradient and gradients were used a lot in 80s fonts. And adding color to the front side. You know guys, I would definitely want to make a video series uh, to customize something in 70s aesthetic or in 90s aesthetic. It would be so fun and so interesting. And if you want me to make such videos, please smash that like button so I can see that you support my idea. And yeah, now I will show you the final result. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time.